This is Catholic Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for October 12, 2023, Thursday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. First reading, a reading from the Prophet Malachi, chapter 3, verses 13 to 20b. You have defied me in word, says the Lord, and you have said, What have we spoken against you? You have said, He labors in vain who serves God. And what advantage is it that we have kept his precepts and that we have walked sorrowfully in the sight of the Lord of hosts? Therefore, we now call the arrogant blessed as if those who work in piety have been built up and as if they have tempted God and been saved. Then those who fear the Lord spoke, each one with his neighbor. And the Lord paid attention and heeded. And a book of remembrance was written in his sight for those who fear the Lord and for those who consider his name. And they will be my special possession, says the Lord of hosts, on the day that I act. And I will spare them, just as a man spares his son who serves him. And you shall be converted, and you will see the difference between the just and the impious, and between those who serve God and those who do not serve him. For behold, the day will arrive, kindled like a furnace, and all the arrogant and all those who act impiously will be stubble. And the approaching day will inflame them, says the Lord of hosts. It will leave behind for them neither root nor sprout. But unto you who fear my name, the son of justice will arise and health will be in his wings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Sa, your response. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Your response Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Your response Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Your response? Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 11 verses 5 to 13. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey and I have nothing to offer him. And he says, in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be 
opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives, and the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish? Or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in today's gospel reading, Jesus exhorts us to keep on asking, keep on searching, and keep on knocking. My dear friends, we feel the need to ask the Lord for things all the time because we are in constant need. Our hearts are restless until our hearts rest in thee, said Saint Augustine. Yes, we are restless and want to ask God for help all the time. My dear family of Mother Mary's protection, this teaches us that we need to depend on God, our Creator, for all our needs from womb to tomb. For He alone can understand how thirsty we are for His fatherly care and protection. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for blessing us with daily food, shelter and clothing. Lord, I also thank you for blessing us with good health of mind and body. Lord, help us to be bold in asking you what we need at any time. Persistent in prayer till we get the favor and make us responsible for all the blessings that we you have blessed us. O Holy Spirit, be with us, fill us with your wisdom, and inspire us to inspire many through our very life example. Amen. My dear friends, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.